Phil and Summo's voice box here, and today I'm going to show you how to install New Vegas Tick Fix. This is a viewer request. First off, you go to the Nexus page for NVTF. This fixes stutter at higher frame rates, or if you have a high refresh rate monitor. So, first off, all the links will be in the description as always. When you go to this page, you'll see this. Note the requirements. You need DirectX End User Runtime, NVSE, and Visual C++. I'll give you a quick demonstration of those. By default, you already have DirectX. But, go here, select your language, click Download. It downloads your DirectX. Now, for Visual C++. You're gonna look around here, and you say, Oh, this is so wonderful, so, so many things to choose from. And it doesn't really matter all that much. Right now, we're going to pay attention to this area. VC Redist, VC Redist, VC Redist. Right now, you care about the x86 version of it. It says, Note, Visual C++ 2015, 2017, 2019 all share the same redistribute files. So, in this case, I will go with x86. Following that, going over to New Vegas Script Extender, you need NVSE all also. So, look around here, you see it's currently maintained by people, that's super wonderful. So now, download stable version, or download the unsupported released beta version. You can see 5.1 beta 4, or 5.1 beta 4, lots of options. So, I'll click this one, which is the stable version. So now we have our requirements and we're going to download TickFix. So, well, I've already downloaded, but I'll click manual download once more. And this is my favorite part of Nexus, making me wait. So now I'm gonna go to downloads and you see these wonderful things here. I already have NVTF, let me just delete that. And because some of you might be worried about viruses in current year, I'm going to scan them. Note that this is unnecessary. The files are safe. You can see scanning files. You can see Malwarebytes isn't a slowpoke. And Symantec is garbage. There we go. So you have your files here. Note that I've already installed VC Redist. I've already installed DirectX. I've already done those things. I also have the latest version of NVSE. So all I'm going to do is copy this to my game folder. If you haven't done this before, you run this file and go through all the setup process. It's just a, a generic dialog box I'll show you. See, Visual C++, you agree, you install it, and then Microsoft yells at you, and that's about it. It takes a second to initialize it, and it'll take another second to install it. Once you've done that, you would go and install the other garbage, which would be DirectX. One way you can check your DirectX version is if you hit start and type in DXDIAG, DXDIAG. It says you must restart your computer, so I'll do that later. So, DXDIAG, DXDIAG. And then this shows you DirectX version 12, and you can check other things about your computer. It's super wonderful. I recommend you try it. So, now that you've done that, close this. You can delete it. It's fun that way. And now you have these files. So, extract files. Extract. Delete the compressed versions. You don't need them. Here's DirectX. You can install it just the same as the other one goes through the same process, you may need to restart. So now we have NVTF and we have NVSE. Installing NVSE is incredibly straightforward. You just grab your data, you grab your source if you're a modder, you grab your DLL, your DLL, your DLL, your loader EXE, your DLL, ignore the text files, copy all this garbage, and now you're going to navigate to where your game is installed. So I have the D drive, D files x86, steam, steam apps, common, and then we're going to go down to Fallout New Vegas. You see here, data, see NVSE, and we have the various things for it. If you go to NVSE, you can see that we already have NVSE config, plugins, all that garbage, and you would normally pay 
paste it in here. So just as a quick reminder, this is what your main directory is. This is called the root directory. If you go into data, this is your data folder. This is where NVSE would go. You can look around here, you can see all these fancy things. Pasting this. Come to think of it, I think I did this wrong. You can see it did data and a source overwrite. Let me cut these out. Because I believe NVSE goes here. Yep, it goes here. Yep, big brain time for me. So, replace the files here. There we go. Yep. As you can see, I'm really rusty because I haven't installed NVSE within the last week. But now that it's, paste, it's pasted in here, NVSE, plugins, you see, test animations, config, config, plugins, and then here are your plugins. This is where NVTF goes into. You can see I have Johnny Guitar, I have JIPLN, and I have whatever this thing is because I forgot. So, open another file explorer window, go to downloads, and then go to NVTF. NVSE, plugins, and you'll see the DLL and the INI. You copy both of these, and you would go into here and you would paste them. I'm not entirely sure what the INI contains right now. Let me check. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so various tweaks and clamps. So you would paste it in here. I already have the files and I don't remember how I configured them. I believe it's just vanilla. So you paste them into here and then you've installed NVTF. As a quick recap, if you've studied if you've studied, if you've installed Visual C, DirectX runtime, NVSE, and then NVTF, you're good to go. Make sure to restart your computer after you've done this to make sure that Visual C installed properly, and that should be everything. Note if you have weird issues in loading the game, such as a error with MSCRP DLL, or a runtime error, or if you have numerous other errors before you go in the comments telling me that my tutorial sucks, like you always do, verify integrity of cache in Steam. That will fix 99% of the issues because that's caused by a missing file. If, for whatever reason, verifying integrity of cache does not fix it, you can try reinstalling the files in the same order, and then if that doesn't work, then you can bother me about it and say that my thing didn't work. And then I'll get back to you with a long comment. So, I hope that fixes your issue, and yeah, that's about it. Note that uh, I'll get to viewer requests as soon as I can, so, yep, have a good one.